The fundamentals of building construction is about how to put a building together, how to choose appropriate materials, how to combine those materials to get a desired result, both technically and aesthetically. The ability to select and combine materials and detail materials into beautiful buildings is a continuous process that you really cannot split into a design phase and a technical phase. And that is reflected in all of my Wiley books and in none more so than in Fundamentals of Building Construction. I taught construction for many years at MIT and there was never a textbook that I felt good enough about that I would require my students to buy it. I got a call from an editor at Wiley who asked me if I would like to turn my class notes into a textbook in building construction and that's what I did about 25 years ago. Joseph Yano, who had been my student at this point was working for me full time in my professional office and he undertook to do the ink drawings for the book and gradually we put together this combination of drawings, photographs, and narratives that became the book. I'm Joe Iano, and I'm co-author of Fundamentals of Building Construction. Construction itself is a completely overwhelming topic. There is so much information to learn. Something that Ed and I have worked on ever since the very first edition is to help lead students along this path from understanding the abstract, two-dimensional section that you typically see in a construction document, all the way to really understanding the implications of that in the construction process. We've added a whole new section up front about the role of the constructor and how that relates to the design and construction of the buildings. The trend in the industry is for architects and builders or constructors and the owner all to really work more closely. And so architects need to understand everyone's part in the process and learning about construction is essential to that. To inspire students, to get them excited about building construction, there are several elements in the book that are purposely introduced. One of those is the use of quotations from various masters of building that relate to the different materials and systems that are being used. Another element is the use of photographs in every chapter of beautiful buildings that have been built using the techniques that are described in that chapter. One of the things in this revision that I've been able to do is really make sure that we're providing students with an understanding that will help get them through those first years when they step out of school and go into the professional environment. Everywhere you go, you'll find fundamentals in the office because students recognize that when they leave school, this information is gonna help them to become a qualified professional. And so they carry it with them because it continues to be valuable to them years after they've left the course that they first bought the book for. Something that's been very gratifying to me is to go into architects' offices and see this book on the shelf there, right above the drafting board or the computer where people are working. What I hope is that every student who buys the book will find it an engaging book, a book that really brings out the magic that they can create with materials and construction, and perhaps most importantly of all, a book that they'll want to have with them throughout their career as architects and builders and construction managers, whatever they may wish to do.